Um, this talk is about Singapore editing Singapore related articles. It's just a quick one that um, about statistics uh, and some interesting tidbits that I found while pulling out information about the ideas of editing in or on Wikipedia itself. Uh, I help uh, from um, uh, just another SG Wiki editor. I hope I get it right because I always just call, it, call him Jess Wee, uh for short. Um, yeah. So without further ado, I will just start. Uh, first of the wiki project, then the first articles and the numbers on the articles itself, some statistics, um, some feature articles and Google articles uh, where we are now, and then we will round off with um, the living, wiki love living heritage um, competition that we just have. Okay, so the project for wiki. Uh, we keep Project Singapore. It's an open project for all Singaporeans and uh, other editors who are based in Singapore, right? So basically, anyone within Singapore uh, who are interested in Singapore-related uh, topics. Uh, two, there were two uh, Singapore-related wiki projects created. Uh, one in 2005, the other in 2006. Uh, one was really called, uh, one is called Wiki Project Singapore, the other one is a, the SG Notice Board, uh, something like that. Uh, it was merged recently, uh, when was it? Yeah, it was merged recently in 2020, so that we just have one Wiki Project um, to look at. Uh, otherwise, we have to, you know, go on two different uh, Wiki Projects to look for discussions a bit. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit confusing at sometimes. So of as of six August, uh, we have uh, two hundred and thirteen listed wiki project uh, Singapore editors uh, there. Uh, however, there's only twenty eight active members uh, currently. Uh, we are just counting as those who have made um, fifty edits in the last uh, one year, right? Um, which is pretty loose definition. Uh. Uh, we have. One active administrator and one former administrator who recently uh, uh, got defrauded because he didn't um, do any uh, admin uh, activities on it. Um, the first articles that we have wasn't Singapore. It's uh, Cocos Island, uh, it created in uh, 23rd April 20, uh, 2001. And then after that is the history of Singapore. I think yeah, people are much more interested in the history of Singapore than Singapore itself, <laughs> for some reason. Created uh, 27 May uh, 2020, uh, 2001, and then after that, Telecommunications of Singapore. Uh, where well, the first edit wasn't talking about the history of, uh, uh, the first edit of the Telecommunications of Singapore wasn't about uh, the progress of telecommunications in Singapore. It was just a, directory listing of uh, diff of the important numbers in Singapore. Yeah, but have changed so much in the last um, 20 years. Yeah, um, we have 12,825 articles by my last count. Uh, it's based on the index of Singapore related articles, uh, the list on uh, Wikipedia itself. Uh, we crawl it every we, we crawl all um, Singapore-related um, categories uh, at least, right now, at least one, once a month um, to get this number. So right now we have 12,000 over uh, close to 13,000 uh, related articles. The, based on the article assessment, meaning those that we will see on the top page, the top banners, right? There is also like 12,000 and 19, the 952 articles, which is pretty close. There are some articles that might not be on the index, but it um, is assessed as Singapore articles and vice versa. One day, these two will get combined together. Yeah. Uh, there's a little plug here that I am actively, yeah, so 
Yeah, it's just a little plug. I, I will have a separate thought on um, how on demonstrating how to create an index for those who are interested to do for their own countries. It's a pretty useful thing. Uh, you dis you already often a lot of um, articles. Okay. So some stats. Um, the years we were most created article was in 2005. That's when there was really an active group of uh, editors uh, pushing uh, content onto Wikipedia. Uh, it was that was uh, about 1,315 articles created during that year. And then an average number of new articles per year was uh, 500 uh, new articles a year, which is pretty significant even considering now. Um, but yeah, so we only have like 1.5 to, you mean to say we only have one, artic one new article or two new articles per day created. Um, okay. Then there was some steep increase on the onset between uh, 2003 and 2006, where initially there was only like 2,000 edits in, one, in a year. It ballooned up in 2006 to about 1,000, no, sorry, 135,000 uh, edits in one, yeah, in one year, uh, in, in the year of uh, 2020, 2006. And after 07, it was a slow decline in terms of uh, the number of edits we have for all Singapore-related articles. Uh, when I look at the history uh, on the top pages and stuff, there's like um, the editors were getting, they weren't really active anymore on the editing. Uh, 2015 onwards, we jumped back up in our edit count with about uh, 140,000 edits around there per year. Uh, 2015 was also a year where Lee Kuan Yew died, uh, so uh, maybe that's where it got a lot of people interested again in updating all the articles. Uh, total number of edits that we have on all our articles was over 2 million, so 2.4 million uh, edits done on all Singapore related articles. Pretty good number, so it's average uh, one per article, there's 194 uh, edits, right? Uh, the top most edited articles, Iraq War comes to the top, uh, because of our involvement in training um, the local uh, police. Then comes Singapore, then Afghanistan War again, uh, also because uh, we send people to train police there. Uh, Changi Airport was the next, is the next one, with, um, it has been heavily edited, uh, I believe to edit um, flight information. Yeah, so it gets edited pretty frequently, like maybe every three, four days we'll get an edit. Chinese New Year, Lion, Diwali, it's all very generic topics but related to Singapore because um, we celebrate Chinese New Year, we celebrate Diwali. Um, Lion because we're Lion City, right, uh, and it gets heavily vandalized. So that's why Tiger as well. Kyoto Protocol because we are part of the protocol, this, um, Greenhouse effect, uh, green, this uh, climate change protocol, Chinese language because of our uh, mother tongue mother tongue policy where all, all Chinese in Singapore have to learn both English and Chinese, so it's one of our, it's one of our official languages alongside Malay and uh, Tamil. Um, in the distant thirteen position is Singapore Airlines, also probably is flight information. Yep, uh, despite of being twelve. To 13,000 articles, we only have 13 FAs. Yeah, because of how small our editor, edit pool, editor pool is. Uh, eight of them are minority related articles uh, due to this user called uh, Zikang123. Yeah, he's a very, very enthusiastic train enthusiast. Yeah, I have to emphasize enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> So, because of his effort, we managed to get um, Esplanade MRT featured on um, on the main page uh, on our first day of Wikimania. Then two law related articles, one about history of Singapore, one economy of Singapore, and then national symbol of Singapore. That's about our FAs. Uh, I think we hope to see more of our articles as FAs. Uh, good articles, we have 100. And 72 articles, good articles. Uh, I think some of them are due for reviews. So this number will drop, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah.
but you know, better standards, we will get better quality, uh, better GAs from this. So where we stand now, we have uh, actually in the pipeline, 700 articles pending uh, entry into our Wikipedia. Uh, how we know it's 700 is because um, the National Library has their own um, infopedia, basically uh, online, some, it's, it's like an online encyclopedia where they write their, their own content of uh, what is notable in Singapore. And we managed to start out about 700 um, articles, 700 of the articles with, that has no content on uh, Wikipedia. So they, most of their content are actually cited. Um, so we can actually use their references to, 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 to write our content on uh, Wikipedia itself. On comments, there is currently 107,000 over Singapore-related photographs. Uh, and we, through the recent uh, Wikileaks Living Heritage in Singapore photographic competition, uh, in the last uh, last one month, we have an influx of 1,100 uh, articles, uh, not articles, uh, photographs uh, that came in, uh, waiting to be categorized and um, and 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 um, yeah, waiting to categorize into various uh, categories. We are also getting trying to get our user group set up here in Singapore. Currently, um, I think by now everyone will know that Singapore doesn't have an affiliate here in Singapore. Uh, the, the organization of Wikimania was due to the effort of the regional uh, community, which I'm also part of. And we are hoping that we get a user group set up so that we can have our local representation on a more global stage as well. Yeah, so we're just waiting. FCOM, FCOM, where are you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so we're just, we're just waiting for the process to be over and we'll get our recognition one day. Yeah. Uh, I'll just talk more about the Wikileaks Living Heritage competition because I was really involved in doing this uh, uh, setup for the competition. So we have, as I said, 10,000 over photos. We narrowed down to 100 photos first to get our jury to get uh, to get to get them to select ten photos for selection uh, for voting. So if you are seeing a concourse area where there are photos, those are made up for voting. We are voting for top three photos where they will receive the photographers will receive prizes, very good prizes, camera vouchers. Um, yeah, so these photos here are the 10 photos that we have selected uh, as a jury. It was an intense process of selection. Uh, we were there are some, um, after all, it's pretty subjective. Uh, some of us might, we had some we felt might not be part of it, but some of it part of it. And ultimately, these are the <laughs> selections. Yeah, so we have, what we have here are the, um, I think that it was, Dibabali? Dibabali, the first photo, I can't remember. Dibabali, or oh, Taipusam, yeah, sorry, Taipusam, photograph, a photograph of Taipusam, a basker, um, lion dance for interesting angle, um, a roadside um, news paper vendor, a chingay performer. This is the f one on the top is uh, taken from Teka Market. And then another Chingay performer, um, uh, a Trishaw, Trishaw Rickshaw, Trishaw, yeah, Trishaw uh, rider, resting, uh, making pop, yeah, and then this um, uh, uh, festival of, I can't remember which festival it is this, but it's basically separating uh, one religion. Yeah, so uh, some photos you have seen on the stage during the opening, like a pop photo uh, during the opening session. Okay, and then we also have an honorable mention. We have one guy who actually, uh, Rainer, who actually submitted photos from the 70s. Uh, he actually scanned the photos that his family has taken during the 70s and has uploaded. So we actually can see a lot of different interesting views that we wouldn't see now in Singapore because they have we have already developed uh, so much since then. Yeah. And that's all. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.
Yes. All right. Sorry, which they as in they who? Oh, I mean the National Heritage Board. Sorry, yeah. we refer it as that. We, we, we refer them as the National Heritage Board here. Um, we cooperated on this on this uh uh competition. We after Wikimedia ends, we hope for more uh partnerships with them. So anything goes we. I guess uh, when Wikimedia ends, we will we will talk more about that with them. Yeah, it's ongoing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so. I guess you are asking why I didn't do it for the other languages, right? Uh, probably because I'm editing on English Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, so I do not have the category list for the Chinese side of all the Malay and Tamil uh, wikis. I honestly didn't have time to, to look down, lock down them. Uh, it, it will take time, uh, which is why uh, come for my next talk, because uh, if you are doing on, if you are if, if you are more proactive on the other language uh, uh, sites, you can um, help to set up the index, and then from there we, I can pull the information. Yeah. Yeah, so um, back in 06, 07, my, from what I remember, because I have been trying to find articles on it <laughs> to, to verify, but my recollection is that, my personal recollection is that there was a huge drive of uh, in the education sector um, uh, by the foundation to get students um, uh, edit, right, uh, back then. And when the effort stopped, um, everything falls apart, lah, essentially. So that's where everything just um, slowly progresses, uh, uh, dies off, in a, in essence. So we will. Um, that's why, and there's no recruitment of new editors, or there's no way to like promote the new editors. So in a way, Wikimania here right now is a good platform, lah, to, to 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 push up to tell everyone that say, hey, we are. We have some dedicated groups of editors in all our respective countries. We have some passionate editors. If you want to edit, um, look for us. We, um, in a way, we can help to train you up or get you started on how to edit properly. Yeah.
Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's only three, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this our current group is not the first group of uh, editors in Singapore who's trying to get things started. Like. There's, well, there was a previous group and it just died off because the passion just runs out. Yeah, so I, I'm hoping to get more people in. Uh, maybe my plan is to actually train up the next generation even so that uh, it doesn't just fall on one person or just our generation. And then after when we leave, everything just dies, dies off again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Succession planning, uh, we need all succession planning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I have to stop now. Uh, yes, money signaling me to stop already. Yes, okay. That's all. Uh, thank you for attending my uh, TED talk. <laughs>